I'm here as a concerned citizen and Saskatoon resident. I want to talk to you tonight about the proposed Saskatoon Light and Power tall wind turbine that's uh, proposed for the top of the garbage dump. I'd like to make some recommendations for Saskatoon Council to consider before allowing this project to move along any further. And in five minutes, I'll do my best to at least touch on one portion of my concerns. I'm a firm believer that uh, we can learn from others' mistakes, that we should only take risks that have equal rewards, and that adopting best practices is a smart thing to do. I hope our council holds these same beliefs and practices. One opportunity our city has is to learn from other jurisdictions and what they're saying about their wind turbine developments and how far they should be from homes. So the one spot I'll talk about is the setbacks. As you heard earlier from some of my colleagues, uh, this past August, the regional mus uh, municipality of Halifax was considering putting in place a setback for wind turbines of 550 meters from homes. Instead, they chose to defer the request because of some concerned residents. And after doing further research, city staff came back with a proposal for 1,000 meters. I'm not altogether certain this is sufficient based on a growing body of research, but at least it demonstrates planners were convinced that there were valid concerns. In Digby, Nova Scotia, they've also adopted minimum setbacks of 1,000 meters. There are many communities, Maine, Spain, Scotland, Michigan, Kansas, just to name a few, that all have greater setbacks than what's being proposed for our residents in Saskatoon. Ontario's Environmental Review Tribunal stated this summer that the debate about health impacts caused by wind turbines is no longer a question of whether wind turbines do or don't cause an impact, but rather has turned its focus to what distance is necessary to protect human health. I believe this is still a subject that requires further research, testing, and non-industry funded science to conclude. Here's a wonderful example that I can respect. The state of Victoria and Queensland, Australia, have decided that no one should be expected to live within 2,000 meters of a wind turbine without providing informed consent to do so. Victoria has also created a setback of 5,000 meters from settlement boundaries to ensure communities can continue to grow without having to avoid the planning dead zones that wind turbines create. You've got to ask yourself, what do these jurisdictions know that Saskatoon Light and Power doesn't? And I'm not here to criticize them. Somebody has to do the hard work. I think the answer is quite simple. Each of these cities have learned from experience that turbines too close to homes harm people. They result in complaints. They are not uniting communities and are generally a bad idea. I look at how many people there could be inside their homes, schools, and how many workers could be affected if we respected and recognized the simple two kilometer radius as the risk zone. This answer is simply too many. If we really want to set an example for the world to see, why would we adopt some middle of the road standards on the turbine setbacks instead of the most stringent examples? I believe that moving forward with less than stringent standards simply to accommodate the only location our city has available is irresponsible. It's unacceptable to me, to my young family who are full time in that two kilometer radius and other several hundred citizens in the surrounding area. Please don't put our health at risk for a project that has been recognized as marginal, has been recognized as having tight finances, requires the use of my tax dollars, and has no significant offsetting benefit for the risks that we have to take. This whole thing reminds me of early stage research on smoking or asbestos. It took a long time to get the substantial evidence necessary. I think Council has the opportunity to protect our citizens, our health and finances, our homes, our communities. And my fellow citizens feel that this project is simply too dangerous. We've got an opportunity of being late in the green energy game to learn from others' mistakes and to do this right. I'd like to see a positive green energy project. And in this day of technology and information at our fingertips, I believe this wind turbine uh, will cause problems. So I may not sit quietly on this, and I want the record to show that I'm here to speak on many people's behalves. We would like to see this project blocked. Thank you. Thank you for coming.